Hello guys, LTK here. We've got the Zero Tolerance ZT640 Emerson collaboration in the house. All right, here we are, got the knife. Yes, and yes, got this, I got this about a week ago, and uh, I've been kind of messing with it, took it apart, put it together, all that kind of stuff, Emerson collaboration with Zero Tolerance, uh, so this, I mean, you know, I had the 620 or whatever that was, that was another Emerson that ZT did, in fact, should I say this, I think ZT does the Emerson collaborative knives better than really kind of more than I really like the Emerson Emerson uh, knives so far. I mean, I think ZT just does a really good quality build of a knife. So I like the ZT uh, Emerson stuff. In any case, this doesn't have like his typical wave feature type thing. And like I said, it's on phosphor bronze washers on the pivot. So it's flickable, but it's not on bearings, which is, I think, okay for this knife um, the way it is. Check out the jimping on top of this. Yeah, all the way. Three and three quarter inch blade and eight and a half inches overall, so it's bigger than like a paramilitary two knife. If you would like to compare with a Rex here. So they, I mean, they're going to look pretty close to the same size. Pretty close. In fact, he'll probably look bigger in this aspect ratio here. But it's not. It's a quarter inch difference. And it's all in the blade, you know. In any case. But you know what? I like it. It's got that kind of green and black patterned carbon fiber scales. And, obviously, you've got holes here, so you can switch the pocket clip from right hand to left hand. And I'm going to bet a dime to a dollar you can get a deep carry clip for this knife if you're looking. Uh, if not, it'll be there soon, but this may be a typical pattern for them. So it may, you know, be able to transpose from some existing deep carry ZT re replacement clip as well. So you could probably do that. But like I'm saying, disc opening. So, you know, it's finger flickable and and thumb flickable. And I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not real handy with like front flippers and stuff. But I mean, I can actually actuate the thing to get it partially open just by pushing on that. But I can't really flick it like that. So... In any case, you got a little front choil here for sharpening. The blade grinds a satin grind with stonewash flats here. But I like the, I mean, I like the, the type of blade it is. So it's good piercing. It's good slicing, I would think. And let's check it out. Oh, CPM 20 CV steel, so it's like a basically an M390 equivalent type steel. Nothing wrong with that. Clip point blade. Of course, obviously plain edge, not serrated, but it's a flat grind. And, you know, it's supposed to have 0.15. Uh, inch uh, blade thickness and it's 0.148 so about a 3.75 millimeter blade stock at where I'm getting hold on and am I not, am I getting hung up here because see I can't get my thing through there so just get underneath it I reckon I think that's just as right where it needs to be in any case so overall thickness ooh well it's a it must be a little bit in excess of 0.5. And it is 
which is 13.8 millimeters. I like the design. And it comes in a typical ZT box and a little, you know, bubble pouch thing. And that's it. And some paperwork, I guess. Uh, nothing outstanding about the hardware here. I mean, we're not talking fancy pivot work here or any of that. Just black cap screws. So nothing overwhelming there. And of course, you know, the cutaway here for this lock bar, which I don't know if you want to call it a liner lock or a frame lock. I mean, I, I guess to me, it's really a frame lock with just carbon fiber scales sitting over the top. And well, because you pull the carbon fiber scale off and here's what you got underneath. And so... You take that, and then you've got these screws here that go through the standoffs back here. And, of course, the pivot screw here that holds the thing together. And the, these are just to hold the scales on. So then you've got these two screws, and, of course, you've got to take the pivot screw out. Then you can pull the back side off, and then you got you a knife somewhere in here. So there's your standoffs here. I didn't pull them off from that side, but here's your... Um, Lock bar insert, hardened steel insert, detent ball. Here's your phosphor bronze washers and your, the rest of your hardware. There's the stop pin, the blade stop. Um, yeah. So, not rocket science? No, it's not. Uh, they didn't skeletonize these um, or weight relieve them in any particular way. Um, you know... I don't know. I don't know if that needed to be done necessarily. And let's kind of check that end of the scale out. Literally. So we'll weigh it up and find out, is it really all that heavy to begin with? And no, it's not. It's 4.4 ounces. So that's not all that big a deal. 125 uh, grams. So no, it's not that heavy. So now... How about the price? How heavy is that? Ooh, <laughs> you know, I like this little cutaway here, but it's like 248 bucks for the price. So what do you think? Eight and a half inches, not bad. Let's put the uh, tape on it just to confirm our blade lengths. Obviously three and three quarter inches, which is about 96 millimeters and eight and a half overall which is 21 and a half centimeters so that was easy wasn't it not painful at all i took it apart put it back together i mean i don't have any i don't have any uh i don't have any blade play i don't have any lock rock of course you know you put it back together you can tighten the pivot enough and on the back side of course it's not going to rotate which is nice that they blocked that off. It's just not, it's not pretty, you know. It's just not all that attractive. There's a lot of knives that do a little bit more to try and kind of make a pivot attractive and that kind of thing, but oh well. Although, keeping the black hardware kind of muted here, um, that doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me at all. Um, Fit and finish, I think, is good. There's no real sharp edges or any problems there. The pocket clip is really low profile, so no hot spots. And the ergos are very plain here. It's, there's no big, deep choils for one finger and the other, so you can pretty much line up on that knife as you want. There's not much protection to keep your, you, you know, your hand from slipping beyond here, but... You know, that's just part of the design here that's going on. And for me to say whether the design, you know, Ernest and Emerson can design or whatever is like pretty silly because obviously I'm not a designer and obviously he is. So, yeah, and there's your lockup, which isn't too bad. It's about 20 to 25 percent easy to disengage with this pass through. So, and it'll get more and more fluid, I'm sure, as time goes on. 
But, you know, I probably didn't. And I was looking at this earlier to say, is this really centered? And I thought it was a little off. And you know what? I don't think it is. I think it's fine. Um, but I didn't over tighten this because I didn't, you know, I wanted the action to be like this. So it is. So what do you guys think? I mean, if you guys have bought some of these or uh, how do you feel about it in comparison to like the 462 and some of the other stuff that's come out this year from uh, from ZT? I think actually this is one of the more likable models that they've done in 2018. Some of the others are kind of just like a bigger version of something previously or whatever. And this one's actually got a lot of unique style to it, a little bit different. Um, you know, and, you know, look, look at your contact patch because it's not a flipper. You know, you're really a lot more practical here as far as cutting, getting to whatever you need to cut. So that doesn't bother me. I don't have to have a flipper. I don't have to have a frame lock, actually, but not bad. And, you know, um, I'm not sure White Mountain, at the time that I'm doing this, has these in stock. I mean, they've kind of been funky on and off here and there. So, But I'll give you a link to White Mountain Knives. And just remember, LTK is a discount code for 10% off any knife or actually i mean i put a watch in my cart i mean because they got sport watches they got a whole bunch of stuff there and put the ltk discount code and it took 10 percent off of that so i guess it's anything on his site 10 percent off so go crazy you know just knock yourself out and it's free shipping in the usa so wow that saves you four five six seven bucks whatever in any case yeah, I like it. Um, you know, it's an open design, as you've seen, obviously, with me rolling this around. And, you know, I don't know if you could possibly impact this carbon fiber if you stepped on the knife while it was open accidentally and you could break the scale. I'm, I'm sure it's possible. Uh, but I do like the fact that it's not carbon fiber here. And just titanium here. You know what I mean? So, did I mention it was titanium? <laughs> okay. So, this is titanium. Because this is not doing anything. This is actually titanium. Uh, these screws are not... Well, they're, no, we're getting the blade. But um, these screws are actually not magnetic. That's odd, isn't it? I'm catching something. Oh, it's probably these standoffs. Yeah, there's, they're magnetic. But th this is not. This is not. Pocket clip's not. So, hey, what can I say? Titanium frame lock. Flicker, shall we say. But I, I don't know. I, I kind of like that green and black uh, carbon fiber. It has some kind of depth to it in a way, doesn't it? And uh, great blade shape, I think. So, yeah, I mean, I do. I, I really like it. I, probably one of my more favorite ZT offerings for 2018. Absolutely. But, yeah, 248 bucks. Yeah, they're all about 240 bucks, right? So, they are what they are. Is that worth the price i don't know i think that's something you know the consumers need to decide on their own you know there's bargains out there there's different knives at different prices so it's really hard to make that call but you know zt makes a great knife i have no problem with the quality build that zt has and you know the nice blade steel they've gone to now this 20 cv i'm cool with that so there you go what do you say? I think they've done well. All right, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for hanging around. Zero tolerance. I like this offering from Emerson, uh, the collaborative thing. 
But the 640, yeah, I'm liking it. Take care, my friends. You know we do around here. We love them knives, so stay sharp.